Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. This is your very own buddy, Black Accordion. Off to a shaky start because of these freaking things. And I haven't been uploading a lot of uh, stuff lately because last week, actually, I went home for Christmas. You know, just holidays and all that stuff. It's really fun. And freaking, we had to go on planes, my sister and I. And unfortunately, we didn't have direct flights. We had to have, like, connecting flights and overlays and other terminology I don't really understand because... This is gonna take forever. I wonder if I can speed it up somehow. No, Raz, you're gonna deal with it. You got three weeks, buddy. Just do some weird time traveling stuff. Yeah, but as I was saying, you know, I went down to California, hung out with family, um, got to see a couple of my friends and exchange gifts. Of course, it was more like me accepting gifts because I'm terrible at the whole gifting thing. I really need to work on that. I wonder what would happen if I turned that dial up. Uh, you would shut up and let me tell my story, Raz. Goodness gracious. So, yeah, that's what I had going on. I had a lot of flights, I had a lot of flying, I had a lot of time to myself to really think about things. And, yeah, it was great seeing all my family again. And I got a lot of cool stuff. And I even got Legos. It was really cool. I was so happy. And, um, freaking. But what sucked is. Um, you know, just walking around the airport. Forever. I wonder if I can speed it up somehow. No. But yeah, um, it was really tiring. And the day after I got back to California, my shoulders were tense. I could barely turn my head. It was so miserable. But you know, it was worth it, you know? Just eating good food again. And chilling with people I knew. People I know. All those things. But enough about me talking about, you know, my wonderful holidays. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday, too. And if not, you know, I hope. I yeah. wonder what would happen if I turned that dial. Oh, uh, good things, good things, good things, all up in here. I'm really tired right now, all of a sudden. But hey, if Raz would shut up, I could tell a good story. I'm gonna move this. That was an integral part of the cube. I should not have hit it. Coming out faster, but still not fast enough. My God, Raz! Look on your aiming, Frick. Aiming's a lot easier with the controller because it's more like automatic here. I guess the computer's just like Frick. What? I, I don't really have anything I can train onto because things are moving a little too quickly. I don't know. I'm just happy to be playing this game again because it is like one one of those games that stuck with me through my childhood. And you know, with the second game being announced. It's really exciting, you know, just to hear news that it might be a possibility, because I, I know, like, funding and all that can get pretty sketchy, and not to mention, you know, they might go over their budget, and people might flake, because I know there's, like, what was it, a Kickstarter? You know, people themselves uh, contributing to this? So yeah, there's that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, still not fast enough. My god, Raz, you are the impatient one. Yeah. You can essentially just stay here and grind, but Raz is gonna be moaning and groaning the entire time and just being a downer, complaining. Of course, he has his own schedule, you know? Apart from Sasha's, but, you know. They have terrible haircuts, just like Sasha. You're gonna see that a lot, too. The sensors in each person's mind is kind of unique to the person that they're from. You know, just like, it could be from like the hair to the dress to like how they talk, I think. I forget. Yep. Well, doing weird flips and stuff. It's doing like weird inception um, physics all up in here. Take that. Yeah. Oh, I can only have 30. I think I have to get, um... A power up to like get more. I think I can go up to sixty. I forget. I'm talking about the bullets um on the right click thingy over there. You know, see how I can only go up to like thirty. That's pretty cool. The only part that sucks is when it goes over the corner and the camera shifts and then I lose my target. So yeah, I'm gonna go over to the thing and crank it up a little bit more. There you go. Still not fast enough. 
Man, this kind of reminds me of Undyne's battle, you know, with the friggin' um, spear. You know, as she has the projectiles coming in towards you and you have your own spear. But you have to choose which direction you have to, like, block. I don't know, but this is more of a 3D kind of sense to the word. Or that mechanic. Or whatever, you know. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank it up one more. It's getting really close to that skull. It's a really adorable skull, not gonna lie. But still, it's getting pretty close to it. Mm, still not fast oh enough. my god, Raz. What the heck? You are the most impatient 10-year-old I know. Yeah, you like that? You like being hit? Yeah, that's what happens when you're impatient. Sheesh. Not to mention these controls aren't the most responsive. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I really love this part because it shows, like, the inner workings of the cube. Oh, the bed. Then all the platforms and the yeah, sensors. Come to Papa. Hey, dude. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Chaos says a dude with the most clean mind there is. But his mind wasn't always clean. And I'm going to see if I could find his vault. I think each character has up to two. I think. One is the one that they want people to, like, see about them. You know, those things, you know, how people kind of twist the truth a little to make themselves look better. And then they have a second vault that shows, you know, who they actually are. Um, how this really they got into their predicament. Sheesh, I was in the middle of something. See those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. You do it. It's a really nice orange in your backdrop there. Ah. Stop it. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a thing. Gotta get you. Gotcha. Alright, Sasha's first loss. This shows a little background into, you know, Sasha's earlier childhood and all that jazz. Okay. Here he is, little tiny baby Sasha and his little mom. So darling, she was very loving, she's very supporting, and very motherly, and he had a very happy father that was just as happy with her, and they were all very happy together, but unfortunately, she got very ill, and I guess he kind of saw her ghost fall out, and his father's very distraught, you know, tiny little fat hands. I guess it was like four in the afternoon, four in the morning, I don't know. Either way, she died, and he's very confused, you know, but he's picking up on all the sadness and rain and all that jazz and of course his dad is very affected by this personal loss but what can sasha do except be a little baby right you know little mom hung around as long as she could and that's sasha's first loss yay you can tell i like I don't know if this is just me, but I noticed there was like a late motif or something, you know, with um, the Aina Kleina, the first movement in this, uh, this, um, thing. Get off. In the, uh, music here. Oh my god, I can't, I can't with you. Frick. Oh, I keep forgetting, I don't, when I fall off, I don't actually, like, die. Because everything's a cube. Frick, it's like Super Mario Galaxy or whatever. Here I am trying to use terminology and trying to sound smart, but instead I fumble with my words. So that's what I do. I fumble. Yep. Alright, let's see if I can jump up here. Oh yeah! Gotcha! Oh, that was a weird, like, gravity part right there. And okay, there's a car. So, Ash obviously, Sasha is old as balls, and he comes from a place that's just as old as balls. So, here you go, dude. Here's your tag. Like a weird thing going on with your eyes. You just feel it through the universe that you've been reunited. Who needs sight when you can feel things, right? Unless you have like a nerve problem. And you're SOL. Where am I? Okay, here I am. Ah! Frick. Suck. I actually... 
I'm actually partial to like the first movement of Ein Kleiner Nacht music. Uh, just because the beginning's like annoying and then you have to like repeat and all that stuff. And ugh, it's so overplayed, like freaking Popo Bell Cannon. I hate Popo Bell Cannon. I really hate that song. It sounds pretty. But the cello part only has eight notes and they repeat forever. And then sometimes uh, people you're playing with slow down in some parts. Not that I'm like calling out anyone I know personally, but in some other experiences that I've had, you know, with that particular kind of song, it's not the best. Not to mention, like, at this one gig I played at, it was, um, aww. At this one gig I played at, I was really hungry, they didn't give us anything to eat, and I made the mistake of, you know, not eating beforehand. So that was my bad. And I just felt sick. It was awful. Get out of here. Ha, ah, get wrecked. Alright, gotta go to the other side now, because that's where they're coming from. Oh, did I grab that dude's um thing? I don't remember if I did. Oh my god, is this bouncy? Gotcha! Ooh, that sounded like a sound from the first Ratchet and Clank. Good. Well, you got them all. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna finish this world instead of cutting it off here like I usually do. This episode's gonna be a little longer. But hey, that's good. Because each world is its own like special little package that you have to like treat with care and kind of look at it. You know, as a whole. So yeah. Here's the second phase. I think this place has like three. Maybe? Oh, I hated this place. It has the platforms. <sighs> Whatever. Let's do it. Oh, here come the sensors. I think these guys are a little bigger and they use their fists instead of like little stamps. Oh no. You close one leak down and another springs up. Well, come on. We've got to take care of these, too. Okay, dude. It's uh, Raz's moral responsibility since he was the one that was so eager, you know, to get this training underway. Your dog. Oh, these guys blast? They suck. Forgot about them. Ew. Alright. Um... I'm gonna get all the figments and not really get to the valve, like, immediately. You saw that? That guy was firing. Does this belong to you? Yes. Yeah, after this guy, if there's a second one, I'm gonna have to check the other side of the queue because I remember there was one hidden. So there's that. But yeah. I'm trying to shoot people. I'm trying to shoot me. Oh, your sure, hair is disgusting. Give me your stuff. Never mind. Alright. That sounds so, so familiar. From like, the first action in Clank or something. Ow. Frick. Gotcha. Where from? I remember like a particular part that it was like specific to. I don't remember. Okay, gonna keep moving. I think there was a double bag around here somewhere. Unless I'm mistaken and it's in the third phase. Um, you here, buddy? You here? Well, where are you, dude? There's a place. I guess I'm mistaken. It's not here. Take that. Ooh, what is this? A weird dog thing? Nice, I guess. Alright, come here, mental health stuff. Nice. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright. Grab it in the nick of time. I am supposed to go this way? Alright. Okay, I have to go up around that way. Nice. I'm gonna be able to go up to that third tier eventually. Gotcha! Okay, we're moving on to the third phase. Mm 
Huh, the cube looks a little bit more rectangular. Some of the bone canisters. I always thought those looked more like Oreos, but then when I got a closer look, they were more like what those old record thingies, you know, with the movies? Uh, the old film projectors, I think. With the reel and all that jazz. You hear that? You hear that crying? I think he's over here. Huh? Where are you, buddy? I wish I could move a little faster. Where are you, dude? Oh. Oh no, those are that's a new type of enemy that I think explodes when it gets close. They're not fun. Oh there he is. Yes. Get over here. Gotcha. The second part of Sasha. Sasha's second sight. Okay, so here Sasha's now a young little boy working with his dad who's a shoemaker. And he tries to ask about his mom, but his dad's still too bothered by it. So Sasha taps into his mental abilities and tries to, you know, see his mom through the eyes of his dad. And he, you know, sees that his mom was a nice, loving, sweet lady and all that good stuff. And that she was like the most darling angel, you know, the light of his life. But then he also got a glimpse of something a little bit more adult. So, you know, he's obviously very weirded out and like, bothered by it you know he's just like oh my god what did i just see his dad's obviously like none the wiser to it he doesn't even know and feeling utter shame sasha leaves home and that's his story get out of here oh got them both nice all right i need to get more of these suckers because i keep wasting them on the big guys maybe they explode Ah. All right, I gotta get this over with. Gotcha. Raw psychic aggression. Whoa. Did I just cheat? Nice. Frick. Ah! No! No! Ah! Oh man. I don't like these guys. I do not like them one bit. They are not the best. And they are super annoying. Stop. Well, that's a fine time to, like, tell me I'm doing good, right when I'm doing bad. Thanks, man. Okay. Ow, ow, frick, frick. I got you, dude. Got you covered. I think I just missed that blue guy at the beginning, but he didn't take his tag. Ah, got some good juice of the passion fruit variety. Oh, there's one right there. Gotcha. Oh man, this dude's right behind me. Oh, God. Nope. Nope, you're not gonna take me alive. Nope, 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 nope. Whoa. Whoa, dude. I didn't realize I was the one controlling it. Take that. Do I get one? No, because I haven't died yet. Alright, there's a cackroach. Cackroach. Try to jump up here. Frick, how do I get up there? Oh, I guess I don't have to go up there. Okay, nice. Ah! Okay, where is that thing? Gotcha! Alright, third phase is over. As torturous as it was. Just wait until we get to meet uh, Mia Videla's mind. Her mind is much more complicated and tough. But she's more upbeat, so it's tolerable. Ooh, fourth phase? Third phase? I lost count. Oh, yeah. I, I, I was gonna say, I recall this place having fire, and then, like that, the fire activated. Thank you, mind, for remembering the small details. <clears throat> Oh, it looked like a face from an angle. You see, like, the big thing is the eye, and then these are the teeth. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's a duffel bag around here somewhere, because I do remember there, one, there being one. Oh my god, W. Is that sobbing I hear? 
I can't tell sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna give up on the whole double bag search. My W key is starting to get really weird. You can see that? It's fantastic. Where am I? Oh no, they're getting tougher. They are getting tougher. Goodness gracious. Oh jeez. Get over here. Alright, full health, but not full ammo. Ooh. This place is busy. Bustling with, um, ac excitement, activities, things to do, places to go. No, oh, jeez. Is this yours? Here you go, dude. I gotcha. Doesn't matter if you have glaucoma. As long as you're happy. And off you go. Dab it. Who the heck is crying? Stop. Jeez. Holy frick. Gotcha. That's it. I've completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Yeah, dude, you should tell it to his face. Young man, I hope <clears throat> you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin. Very fast. He looks like a dingleberry. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Cool. It's time to earn your merit badge. When locked, when your mental focus is locked, press space and use WASD in any direction. Very useful for circling your enemies. Yeah, it's called strafing. Ah, jeez. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah! Enough horseplay, Rasputin. Destroy him. I'm trying, dude. Rasputin! Ah! Backflip for eternity. It's like Wind Waker or something. I've never played that, but I read something that was, like, pretty much summarized it as, like, Dang it! The small sensors are feeding into his strength. You must stop them. Okay, dude. I got it. Ow. Those little sensors are re-energizing the big ones. <laughs> gotcha. Man, I need more of this stuff. Really? Really? Camera? Every time you lose all your mental health, you peel off a layer of your astral projection. If you lose all the layers, then you will no longer be able to maintain a projection in this mental world, and you'll be kicked out and to the real one. Or you could use your salt. Collect markers like this weird helmet thing to replace layers, and collect markers like this weird golden trophy thing to maintain or increase how many layers you can maintain at once. I think I, I think I- oh, there he is. Gotcha. Aw, oh, dude. 
Where's that other one? Frick. Ah, jeez. Man, this is like the fight with Bowser in, like, Super Mario 64. Because, freaking, every time, like, Bowser, uh, jumps or whatever and lands... Ew. Ew. Holy freak, walk on to him! Jeez. Yeah, every time he jumps and Mario's still, like, touching the ground... Uh, Mario will like go into a T stance and be like immobile or immobilized. I love my renditions of the English language. Oh, when your mental. F I already know this! Me off and put me down. Trying, dude. Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. Got it, dude. Hey. Hey. Enough! Yes! That only took needlessly longer than necessary, but I defeated him! Gosh. So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. That was silly. Yeah, that big giant lumpy boss dude reminded me of the dude from Mad Max Fury Road. The dude with the golden nose or whatever. Yep, reminded me a lot of him. Also because of the swollen leg and the lack of nose. I want to shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Okay, well that was fun. Very long and tedious and very painful actually because I lost a layer of my astral projection, but he beat Sasha's mind, so there's that. And I hope you have a good day. If it isn't a good day, treat yourself to a little something. And to meet again next time, I really hope you do. Bye.